So yeah, yesterday we had the privilege of watching the first episode of She-Hulk. And as our resident fan of She-Hulk, <laughs> I thought I'd see what you thought of it. I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Obviously we saw the trailers and the people... I was a bit worried from the trailers, it. honestly. But I, I, I thought it was great, but... Yeah, I really enjoyed it. The character, I think she plays the character well. Uh, um, I thought they were going to introduce her slightly differently because when, when they introduce her in Savage She-Hulk, it's a slightly different um, set of events. But obviously that's creative license. They can turn her into She-Hulk however, however they want. I was relieved when they um, did it the way they did it without spoiling anything because I, I realise yes. people haven't seen it. It's only been out a day. Um, but they did it and more importantly, they did it quickly. <laughs> so, yeah, thumbs up for that. Hello, and welcome to the Spiral Dimension. I'm Dr. Von Hoot, and this is Mrs. Von Hoot. The Magic Badge is still feeling a bit under the weather, so we give her the time off. <laughs> yeah, how are you, all right? Yeah, good, thank you very much. Awesome. Uh, yeah, stack of three more parcels that we've had lying around, and I have no idea what they are, so let's just crack on. Good. First up, just one comic from this one. Oh. And this. Oh, cool. Catwoman 32. We had this in a video um, a while back. And uh, yeah, I, I love this cover. Yes, very cool. And it's in minty condition, which is lovely. Exactly what I want. I love that design. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really, really beautiful artwork. Top mark. Next up. I'm always more intrigued when one turns up and sits Yeah, because, yeah. Usually we know what the two are. Boom. Mm. Could it be? <laughs> no idea. Oh, oh miles. more miles. Okay, 11. issue 11. Yeah. Cool. I can't remember if this is significant or not. I don't know whether it's a key. Um, Certainly, I've found that getting the first 15 issues of this run of Miles is harder than everything after it, for obvious reasons. Yes. But also because the keys are sort of within those few that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. I've got a few of them, but not all of them. Yeah, another one issue, so that's interesting. What are we doing? Mm -hmm. Boom! Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. Issue 64 of The Amazing Spider-Man. I bought this very cheaply months and months and months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I just wanted some classic uh, sun in the run, and it was really cheap for what it was until I noticed that if you look carefully, it's been hole punch. Oh, I remember you buying it now. And uh, that's my fault because it only had a few seconds left on the eBay um, order I think. I just went, ooh, and bought it and then was like, ah, hole punch. It happens, it's not the end of the world, it's just a shame. I mean, it really didn't last that much. Though, I think, no, 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 it was, it. It, was, <laughs> it was very cheap. Um, it's very cool. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a lovely, lovely picture. Classic ASM, this is brilliant to have a look at. It's uh, cool. And I, it's weird because as a kid, I sort of really hated the Vulture as a villain. I thought he was <laughs> rubbish because he's just like this old man that's all bald and just did, never did it for me like, say, Venom did or uh, Hobgoblin or Green Goblin. But now, I'm really fond of the, the Vulture, and I'm not really sure why. I think it's the greenness of it. See, I'm, I'm attracted to anything green. Yeah. Hence the love of She-Hulk, yeah. so... I'm with you. I, I, was in, I was in on the green already. Right, 
Thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you next time in the Spiral Dimension. Peace! Bye! From the Spiral Dimension.